two best friends never imagined a night out full of fun and laughter would end up in tragedy for both of them. Today's case takes us to Doncaster, South Yorkshire in the north of England. Named after the River Don, which flows through the town. On the 28th of January a group of young men had decided to hit the town and have some fun, and that's exactly what they did. They partied through the night into the early hours of January 29th. Best friends, 20-year-old Ryan Theobald, and 17-year-old Janice Kozlovskis, stepped out of a licensed bar on Silver Street, known as the Number 15's club around 2.30am, and found themselves in an altercation with a group of males. It is not known at this stage why the altercation broke out. But at around 2.39am police received reports of a stabbing. Police and ambulance would arrive at the scene shortly afterwards, where the general public were already trying to save the lives of multiple victims. The scene must have been horrific. Paramedics did all they could, but unfortunately Ryan Theobald would be pronounced dead at the scene. Janice Kozlovskis would be rushed to hospital, however he would soon succumb to his injuries and sadly lose his life as well. Another 18-year-old male was also injured in the altercation but his injuries are not believed to be life-threatening. He would later be arrested on a public order offence, but then released without charge. A subsequent post-mortem revealed both victims died from stab wounds. Ryan Theobald, a former player for Bessacar FC, has been described as a funny, loving and kind-hearted young lad. He was a primary carer for his mother and a loving brother to his sister. His presence will be greatly missed by many. Bessacar FC's chairman, Wayne Morgan pays tribute. Training session. Never missed a game. Always around the club if you needed him. As out of football, he uh, his mum's actually a disabled lady, and Ryan was her carer, so a, a decent kid. I, I spoke to his mum yesterday, on, only for two or three minutes, because we both ended up in tears on the phone, so I, I cut it short. Uh, but you know, it, it was his mum's carer. It's, you know, it's, it's going to be a massive, massive altar fill in their household. Janis Koslovskis was only 17 and his family are of course devastated by their loss. His big sister wrote a tribute on a GoFundMe page. I've just this lost my little 17-year-old brother to knife crime, in my own home city of Doncaster. We're all heartbroken, I've always seen things like this on the news, but now it's happened to my own family. My heart goes out to the other people who have lost their loved ones over knife crime. Janice went out on a Friday night in Doncaster. After their night out with his friends an altercation broke out and Janice and one of his friends, Ryan Theobald, sadly passed away. He was only 21, both young lads with their whole life ahead of them. Any help will go a long way. A number of suspects were arrested in connection with the killings. On the 29th of January a 17-year-old male would be arrested, and then later bailed pending further investigation. Not long after this three more arrests would be made and a 19-year-old male, Amrit Jagra, would be charged with double murder and possessing an offensive weapon. Two 41-year-old males would also be arrested on suspicion of assisting an offender, but would be released pending further investigation. Amrit Jagra would make his first court appearance on 3 February, at Doncaster Magistrates Court, where he was remanded to jail, to appear at Sheffield Crown Court the following day. From there he would be remanded back to jail to await his next court appearance that was set for the 1st of April. At this appearance, Amrit Jagra entered not guilty pleas to all charges and a trial has been set for the 11th of July 2022. Until then bail was denied and he was remanded back to jail to await his fate. My heart goes out to these two families whose lives will surely never be the same again. Ryan Theobald. Janice Koslovsky. Rest in peace. If you made it this far. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Perhaps you would consider subscribing.